What's going on guys, Kitsune Jimmy here, and welcome back to Leisure Suit Larry 1, where we left off at the Quick Mart, so, or Quickie Mart, I guess. Let's see what's going on here. And I'm guessing, well, you never want to have sex with a prostitute, you know, without protection, as we've already learned. But first, let's try stealing a magazine. Yep, we're gonna steal this shit first. The clerk does not take too kindly to your shoplifting. His shotgun makes a permanent impression on you. And in you. Well, I'm dead. And we already know what's going on here, so let's restore. Alright. Okay. So, talk. Man. Who can I start the wolf boy? You can leave a few fips or flips. Apparently, the clerk has, is new to this country. He only knows a few English words. Well, okay. Chip wine. Chip wine. You grab a bottle of cheap wine and wonder how they can make a profit selling this stuff for only a dollar a gallon. I don't know, but it must be one of the best ass bargains ever. Take magazine. Yep. Take magazine. Condoms. After looking around to make certain you're alone, you quietly ask the clerk if he has any available condoms behind the counter. Sure, we got the labars. Obviously, you've hit his area of expertise. What kind of labar you want? Smooth or ribbed? Hmm. Ribbed. Colored or plain? Eh, colored. Lubricated or rough cut? Seeing as I'm having sex with a hooker, rough. Striped or plaid? Well, she might be... she might be Scottish. Peppermint or spearmint flavor? Um, I have a feeling they're the same, but, uh, peppermint. For that Christmassy time... Fucking, I guess. For that Christmas time flavor. Okie dokie, mister! Hey everybody! This weirdo just bought a peppermint flavored plaid rough cut colored lip or rubber. What a private! He hands you the package saying, All together, that would be eight dollar please. You're given the money with a, a pleasant thanks a lot, big mouth. Alright, and we're going to save here, just so, just to show why you never bring alcohol into a taxi. Hey mister, I, yells the clerk, I hope you enjoy your peppermint flavored plaid rough cut color lib lubber. Yeah. Alright, taxi. Of course he stops when the hobo's coming this way. And this is why you never take wine into the cab. Hey driver, look- Hey- The driver looks at you and says, Hey, what's that you got, wine? He grabs your bottle of wine and guzzled it, guzzles it down. Hang on, Larry, he's swerving all over the road. Hmm. So he goes flying out the windshield, and I don't die. But I do die. I don't get it either. It seems a bridge abun- A bridge- A 
abutment has ridge abutment? I don't know. Has brought your game to a sudden stop. Remember, Larry, friends don't let cabbies drive drunk. Apparently I'm dead. So Yep. Hey Meester! yells the clerk. I hope you enjoy your peppermint flavor li Ah. Peppermint flavored plaid rough cut color lib lobber. Sorry about that, my mom just texted. Wait for the wait for the hobo. Yay. Guys, we are getting buddy. No. Alright, be that way. Talk. No! No! Talk hobo. Eh. Eh. Talk man. Eh. Talk man. I was about to drink, sorry. Okay. Eh. Hey. Hey. Give wine. I drink, sorry. Glug, glug. I ain't got no remote control, but say, I'll tell you what. It's my trusty old fucking eye. You never know. There's some kinky girls in this town. Sexy hunks like us. They have to defend ourselves sometime. With that, he stumbles off into the darkness. Wait, I got a knife now. Look, pull. There's some scribbled letter. There's numbers scribbled on the side of the telephone. The only thing legible and printable is five 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 six nine six nine. Okay. Take phone. Call five 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 six nine six nine. Use phone. Five 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 six nine six nine. My face is buried in the phone. Hello, you have reached National Hotline in Sex Survey. Please answer the following questions. There may even be a, pro a wonderful prize waiting for you. What is the name of your favorite sex partner? Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna have an obvious name here. Victoria Lovelace. Just because it seems like something obvious. What is the best part of your partner's anatomy? Her... Wait. Huge... Tits. What do you do... What do the two of you like to do together? Hmm. Fuck... Each other's... Brains out. What is the best part of your body? My... Long... Hard... No, my long, rock, hard <laughs> cock. <laughs> and finally, what's your partner's favorite object? Hmm. Flashlight. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> Thanks for participating. Your prize is... Oh, well, looks like they hung up on you. It was probably a bummer prize anyway. And we actually wait here because the phone's about to ring. Wait for it. It's supposed to ring? Okay, let's just go fast as speed. Oh no, it's that dog! No! Damn it, Fifi! I think that's that dog's name. Oh well. Okay. Alright, the phone don't want to ring right now. I think it rings. There we go! Okay, that activated it. Pick up phone. Hello, 
You pick up the telephone and hear a woman's voice. Hello, Larry. This is Victoria Lovelace. Why don't you forget this silly game and come over to my place so we can fuck each other's brains out? After all, your long, rock-hard cock has always turned me on. So bring along a flashlight and come play with my huge tits. Bye now. You hang up the telephone and, you're, and you wipe the sweat from your hands. Go Larry. Oh! Whoa, what the? Um, hmm. I got no idea what that's for. Oh, let's see. Look, hydrant. Why does the dog use you and not it? That's what I want to know. Alright. I can't get into there without a card. And the card can be found at the casino. Get in. But first... Uh, bar. First, we're gonna have sex with that prostitute, so we're not a virgin anymore. Sixteen bucks. Oh, jeez. I thought getting home from work was expensive. Alright, so we're gonna go back into lefties. Fast walk because I'm bored and, I don't know, lazy. Can send me. Past the pimp. Look him. He's no rocket scientist. <laughs> That's mean. Talk whore. I just want to do this again. So, she snarls, you're just gonna stay in here or what? Alright, fine, we're fucking. But I'm using protection this time. Undress. Look, self. It's just as it appears. Look, whore. Now? You've come this far, Larry. Now's not the time. Now's the time to do more than just look. Use condom. Yep, this would be a perfect time. The Surgeon General would be proud. Fuck dirty whore. Damn it! Fuck skank. Aww. Do hooker. Watch it, Larry. You're gonna get your face. Okay, fine. Fuck hooker. Ah. Uh, I'm probably gonna add some music in later. Oh yeah. Although successful, you feel less than satisfied. Technically speaking, you're no longer a virgin, but for some reason the thrill just, you know, wasn't there. You've had to continue your quest until you please your heart, and not just your other organs. It was a good thing you were wearing that rubber. Talk, hooker. Was it good for you? Oh wait, wrong voice. Was it good for you, baby? You ask her. Was what good? She replies. Oh, what a bitch. Look, hooker. She seems more interested in that cigarette than she was in you. And save because another fun way to die. Well, die, but actually, you know what? Screw it. Take 
You have to take off the condom. I'm probably just gonna have a death run when... I'm just probably gonna have a death run at the end of it. Good idea. You carefully remove and dispose of it properly. Where did I dispose of it? Eh, whatever. Yep, and the trash I go again. Use spray, because I'm pretty sure that falling in a trash would fuck up your breath. I can't use that, I can't go to that other ladder yet. Look, wallet. 59 bucks. I'm gonna have to go to a casino for some more. Taxi! Alright, my phone's ringing one sec. Alright, and I'm back. Sorry about that. My mom called. Oh, okay. No! Damn it! That was fast. Yeah, the, we're having like a storm coming by and it just messed up our roof so we had to call someone to fix it. Alright, we want to go to the casino so I can get some cash because I only got like 56 bucks on me right now. Okay, only seven bucks. Hey, cabby. If you don't pay him, he kills you. So, always pay your cabby. Words of wisdom always pay your cabby. And, yep. Oh, what's up, buddy? What's, what's up? Hello, sir. Would you help out a poor unfortunate by purchasing an apple? The price is reasonable. Only one dollar. Okay. Pay one dollar. Thank you very much, sir. Please call again whenever you're in the neighborhood, says the man. And with that, he walks into the night. Um. I didn't call. Ah, whatever. Let's see. Look. Apple. This red delicious is suitable for your Granny Smith. But someone else might find it appropriate. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna save. Rack up some cash. Alright, I mostly just do blackjack, although the slots are seen as a better way of getting money, so. Alright, bet. 20. And I'm just going to, yeah, I'll be right back. We're just going to, yeah, skip to having a lot of money. All right, guys, and we're back. Now I have the max amount of money, which is 250, and that's all we're going to need for the rest of the game, so we don't really need to gamble anymore. All right, so what we want to do here is we want to look at this card in this trash can, or ashtray or whatever. And we and we see that is a pass card to the Lost Wages Disco. So now we're able to get into that disco we saw. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Payphone. I do what it people always do. Got to check for some change. Take gum? You can't. It's firmly embedded. Nothing will get it out. You just have to find another telephone. Take change? What? Okay, fine. No reason to take the change. If there's any in there. Alright, 
almost walked into the road right there. Alright, now what we need to do is go to the disco. Hooray for disco! Disco ain't dead yet! And we're just gonna go as fast as possible. Hold! I'm sorry, sir, says the bouncer. But this is a private club. Show card. You whip out your borrowed membership card and lay it on him. Oh, good evening, sir. I didn't even... I'm so sorry. I didn't even recognize you sooner. Please, come in. Thanks, buddy. Yep. The disco is filled with guy, remarkably similar guys, all looking for girls. So this is where all the other Larrys are. Talk to the girl. Perhaps you should sit with her first, okay? You smile at the girl and say, may I join you? And of course she replies, why am I coming together? I, uh, why am I coming apart? <clears throat> Hey, baby. What a knockout. She's got bright blue eyes, a dazzling smile. Your eyes roam her body, and what do you what you see, you like. She's sensational. Larry, this must be love. Talk, oh, girl. Hiya, baby. What say you and me get it on? Get lost, creep. Talk, oh, girl. Talk, girl again. Hey, sweetheart, what's your sign? I love this one. Octagonal, she replies. Like in stop. Ooh. My name is Larry, you offer. Larry Laffer. Say, Larry, she chuckles, glancing downward. Is that a Pez dispenser in your pocket, or are you just lonely? Ooh, burn. What's your name, beautiful? You ask. Fawn, she replies. Somehow you knew that. Alright, I'll just give her the flowers and shit. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love roses. Okay, give candy. Give ring. Dance! Oh, you're so sweet. I just love dancing. I thought you'd never ask. Come on. Aw, uh, yeah, we're dancing. Come on, Larry, what are you waiting for? I'm hot to get in on with. Oh, shit! Look at how high she went. Look at him. He's hugging that dance floor. There she is. Aw, it's done. Sit, look on. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love you, Larry. I want you to make pa wild, passionate love to me. Ooh. All right, Larry. At last, you're gonna get lucky. She continues, but first I must get married. I can never make love to a man not... I can never make love to a man not my husband. If you would loan me a hundred dollars, I'd rent the honeymoon suite at the casino hotel for us. Then after we're married, we'll celebrate there. Okay. 
loan money. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love money. Thanks, Larry. You won't regret this. Meet me at the marriage chapel near the casino in a few minutes. I'll get us into a room. Hurry, Larry. I can hardly wait. Okay, whoopie do. Uh, okay. And we're going to save and call that a video. And uh, next time, we go to the marriage chapel of lost wages. We all know how this is going to turn out. See you guys later.